Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marie Max Charleston off Daniel Island. Today I'm going to take you through a new arrival of ours. This is a 2023 Scout 281 XSS. The 281 XSS is a brand new model from Scout. Really striking, aggressive looking bay boat. This boat is an absolute beast. This is the white exterior gel coat, that off-white cream color from Scout. Beautiful lines, slanting profile towards the uh, stern of the boat. You can do this boat in either a single or twins. Here we have this boat powered in the new single V10 400 horsepower Verado from Mercury. We've also got um, rear steps on either side of the boat. Coming around to the port side, there's a reboarding ladder that tucks into the swim platform with a stainless steel grab rail. Very wide beamy boat and uh, very stable on the water as well. Now we'll make our way inside. So starting off in the bow on the 281 XSS, huge beamy boat up front. A lot of space to lounge if you're facing forward, but you can fit a ton of passengers up here as well if you have people facing inward. You got a nice tall backrest with the bolster area up here. So passengers are gonna feel very safe if they're leaning outward. Big chase lounge up front as well. There's plenty of space for two. Armrests on both sides. Nice contoured shape to the seat. So it feels good on your uh, lower back. Storage all throughout this bow area. You have the big deep coffin box style chase lounge storage box. This is an insulated lid, so it will keep ice. That is a drained area. Makes for a great fish box, cooler, or you can put dry items in there. Two really large and deep finished out, polished um, storage boxes here that are also drained. This is the Grigio colored interior. So the gray with the cream accents in an ultra vinyl as well. Batteries are located behind this hatch here. This is also a great general storage area. Receptacle for a battery charger is also located here as well. Aft facing speakers forward. And then stepping up to the foredeck or casting platform area. Ton of real estate up here if you're going to actually fish this boat and use this area to do so. But this is also just a great versatile area if you're coming up to a dock or nosing up to the beach. Um, passengers or whoever's assisting you with lines, etc., or throwing a, helping with an anchor will have a lot of uh, safe space to maneuver up here. This is a anchor windless boat, so remote controlled anchor uh, back at the helm. Also got a wash down up here. This this flooring material is the Sea Deck foam flooring. Very soft on your feet, but also dresses the boat up very nicely as well. Coming back to the helm. Behind the headrests on both sides, we have a little recessed area with some non-skid, Corian countertop, and two cup holders. Full glass windshield with windshield wiper, speakers, and spreader light up front. Very large head on this boat. We also have the bow sunshade stored in here. But you can see, very large head area, ton of headroom. Um, you have a skylight on the starboard side of the console. So, get some uh, good sunlight in there. Awesome helm area on the 281. Elevated leaning post with bolsters that work independently of each other so a driver can lean while a passenger sits and both can do so very comfortably with fold down armrests. You have an angled footrest here so whether you're seated or you're in a standing position, it's a very comfortable place to uh, sit or stand. Steering wheel is on a tilt base with a steering knob. This is the upgraded Edson steering wheel that has a rubber back as well. As far as electronics and instruments, we have a jack plate on this boat, the uh, zip wake trim tabs. We have phone chargers, induction style phone chargers on both sides of the, uh, of the helm. Huge 16 inch Garmin screen, our Mercury vessel view display is on the top left we do have digital switching on this boat so we can control lights and pumps from the actual garmin 
We also have some redundancy up here as well. VHF radio is already installed. Of course, digital throttle and shift with that Mercury Verado motor. And active trim is standard with that new Mercury, Mercury binnacle. Upgraded sound system on this boat also includes a subwoofer located right beneath the helm. In addition to several speakers up into the hard top, two in the back and two up front as well. On the port side of the helm area, we have fold out tackle storage. Coming around the back, there's more storage with designated space for tools, pliers, screwdrivers on the starboard side. We have a cor another Corian countertop with cup holders, rod holders, and a nice deep live well with a blue interior and a uh, see through material also. Yeti cooler slides out on a track, locks into place, and you have fresh and raw water washdowns on the on a sprayer nozzle that retracts back in. The aft deck area, when everything is in the down position, again, much like the bow, a lot of room to maneuver around here, whether you're fishing or just navigating from one side of the boat to the other around the dock. Sea deck, sea deck foam flooring here as well. Backrest for the stern seat folds upright. Creates a very nice high backrest. Definitely room for three adults. Seated very comfortably. Bilge access and designated uh, space for a couple of buckets is down here as well. All finished and polished. Very easy to access everything. Large hatch not to be overlooked on a bay boat. We have storage drawers, both port and starboard, in the corners. And we have bait wells on both sides, along with designated fender storage. So fenders just drop, drop right into these receivers, nice and out of the way. This particular boat has several other cup holders and rod holders in the back. And it's also equipped with the optional Fender Pros, a quick disconnect for your fenders. So easy in, easy out. That's a look at Scout's new 281 XSS. Again, I'm Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston. If you have any questions about this boat or any of our others, give us a call at 843-747-1889. And always check us out online at marinemax.com. Thanks for watching.